And we have Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. And yeah. because I like to be disappointed, I'm picking <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Because well, I am a masochist and I love to be in my own misery, I am picking Drew McIntyre. Sarah, I'm also picking Drew McIntyre. I, I was I was shocked at well, how many people no. are picking Seth so easily, but okay, um, I can't do it. I can't deal with another Seth Rollins win. I can't. It's getting me to that point where I'm like, I hate Seth Rollins, but it's more so of like, I hate Seth Rollins as world heavyweight champion. It's not like I hate Seth Rollins, but like I'm getting to that point where I'm getting so irritated, like like the same feeling that you have around Roman still being champion and like never being around. It's like that's how I'm starting to feel about Seth, and that's disappointing. Hey, yeah, it's it's a little bit much. It is too much. Um, I don't know. I I got to change mine because that doesn't correlate. Um, it, it just it's stale. It's all it's and I it's hate to say that about boring. Seth. It, it's the song's great, you know. It's a great interaction with the crowd, but it's the but same to, thing to, every, every single, single week. week. It's the same thing, and with how the product's going, we need to get fresh faces in there. We need new mm -hmm. challengers, and the only way to get new challengers is to have new champions. Give Drew that reign that he so desperately needed after carrying the company it through the the Pandy Randy era you know you know, so you know the easy okay so they're still kind of like teetering the line of drew being a full heel you know mm -hmm. i mean like we said when we were talking about raw this week it's almost like seth came off more like the bad guy mm -hmm. um than drew did mm -hmm. i really wouldn't be surprised if we see judgment day help drew win and i feel like that because that would be one of the easiest ways to ensure that people turn on Drew to, in my eyes, because I think that if he were to win the title in front of people after them hyping the fact that, you know, he was the champion mm -hmm. during that, that era in 2020 and that it, what it sucked because there was no one there. They're going to cheer for that because it's going to be exciting because they haven't done anything with Drew to make anybody hate him. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because, yeah, he's had these little tiffs, like these little back and forth with Rollins, but like still it's never become physical because Rollins was being protected until this last week. So I feel like especially if it was like JD and Dom or something like that um, or because I would say even Rhea, but like people love mommy. Like, she yeah, me, so I don't think that. But I think if it were JD or Dom or something that got involved and helped Drew win um, to me, that seems like the easiest way for them to get to hate drew that's a very good way to get heat on him right now there's no reason like drew is going about everything like it's all for me i'm in business for myself yeah it's where just it comes the title. Off. it's not rollins it's just the title yeah but i'm saying he everyone thinks he's in business for himself when he's doing the complete opposite yeah. and he doesn't want to do business with anyone he just wants to stay to his own business yeah well what a wrench to throw with Judgment Day's business seems like everybody's business. And then you have Judgment Day in Drew. Like, there's, there's a lot of connecting parts there. And it would really make it just for an incredible feud with a lot of different people on Raw. Like, for instance, Sami Zayn. Drew was in a video package on Raw sitting in purple lighting. He made the Judgment Day deal. Dude, sick. I need it. I think Drew does have to know. If Drew acts like shocked about the Judgment Day helping him, I think it's again, it's another thing that wouldn't get people to hate him. He has to, uh, you know, either give them like a signal or he needs to like acknowledge them and their help, you know, or, you know, maybe mommy. once it gets on Raw, he could like thank them or something like that. But it seems like if they are trying to go in the direction of making him a heel, it is something that they have to do. Because he's not, like I said, he's not going to get the reaction that they want if he just simply wins clean. Like, it's just not going to happen. And if you don't want people to turn on Rollins, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and I mean, turn on Rollins as in, like, cheer for Drew as opposed yeah, to yeah. booing him for, for winning. Then that's what you have to do. Otherwise, it's just going to be like, okay, yay. Just imagine him in Judgment Day, too. 
I don't know. It doesn't mean he has to be in Judgment Day. It just means that they work together when it benefits each other. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like aligning himself is what I mean. Like, sorry for the correct terminology of verbiage. Aligning himself with Judgment Day would be a very interesting little. It could also become a storyline in the future. Like maybe he only aligns himself with Judgment Day when he, for when he wins the title. And then after that, he's like, all right, I got what I needed from you. I don't need you anymore. That could also start a feud with like Damien or Finn or whatever for the title. Um, it just depends, again, like what direction they're trying to do with McIntyre because they haven't really made it certain that they're going to make him a bad guy or they haven't said that they were going to keep him a good guy. It's really hard to tell right now. So 